Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, still in the early days of their whirlwind romance, were thrilled to attend Pippa Middleton's wedding. However, their excitement took an unexpected turn when they encountered a surprising rule that separated them for much of the celebration. In May 2017, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were still navigating the early stages of their relationship when they were invited to Pippa Middleton's wedding to hedge fund manager James Matthews. The couple, not yet engaged and only months into dating, anticipated the chance to share a memorable evening together. Yet, Pippa's strict seating arrangement proved to be an unexpected twist. According to royal biographers Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran in Finding Freedom, Pippa had requested that no couple sit together during the reception. This meant Meghan and Harry spent dinner apart. Harry was placed beside ITV News at 10 anchor Tom Bradby, while Meghan dined with Mirka Federer, wife of tennis legend Roger Federer. The decision to separate couples, a unique touch by the bride, was intended to encourage mingling among the guests but likely added an awkward element for Meghan and Harry, who are still new to navigating the public and private dynamics of royal life. Despite the unusual arrangement, the two reunited near the dance floor after the meal, choosing to spend the rest of the evening catching up rather than partying late into the night with friends. This subtle shift in Harry's behavior was noted as a sign of his growing commitment to Meghan, prioritizing time with her over his usual social routines. The seating arrangement wasn't the only hurdle for the couple that day. Meghan was notably absent from the ceremony at St. Mark's Church in Englefield, West Berkshire. According to reports, Pippa and her mother, Carol Middleton, were concerned that Meghan's presence alongside Harry might steal attention from the bride. To avoid overshadowing the nuptials, the couple decided that Meghan would skip the church service and instead meet Harry later at the reception. While Harry attended the ceremony, Meghan waited at a nearby Airbnb rented by a friend. She reportedly spent the morning doing her own makeup and preparing a simple yet elegant look in a black dress. After the ceremony, Harry returned to join her for lunch before they drove together to the Middleton family's Buckleberry estate for the evening festivities. The wedding itself was a stunning affair, complete with a custom glass marquee on the Middleton's sprawling 18-acre property. Pippa dazzled in a bespoke Giles Deacon lace gown with an open heart back, while the bridal bouquet featured a delicate blend of peonies, sweet peas, and other floral favorites. The youngest royals, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, charmed the guests as page boy and bridesmaid, dressed in adorable outfits that perfectly complemented the day's romantic theme. For Harry and Meghan, the event was a mix of challenges and cherished moments. Despite the hurdles, including media speculation about Meghan's absence from the ceremony, the pair navigated the day with grace. Harry's choice to prioritize Meghan throughout the evening highlighted the growing seriousness of their relationship, even as they worked to balance the complexities of their budding romance under the royal spotlight. Though their time at Pippa Middleton's wedding wasn't without its challenges, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry managed to turn the day into another step forward in their relationship. From navigating a unique seating plan to quietly supporting each other through the day's events, the couple's journey to the altar had its early trials but also showcased the partnership that would define their future together.